Gail and today you are stamping with Gail to learn how to make these cute pinwheels using the new pinwheel sizzlet die. They're a lot of fun, they're easy, I'll show you both ways with the designer paper as well as with cardstock. So the first thing we need to do is get out our Big Shot, set up the sandwich, which will be tab one, because that's where the sizzlets are with a cutting pad, a die, a two inch square of designer paper or cardstock. Run that through. And we end up with pinwheel nicely cut. You know, you can make these with just a square of paper and cut them, but this makes it so much easier and they're always perfect. Now, the next step is to find the little holes. There are five holes that are already pre-cut in here. We're just going to poke through with the paper piercing tool. There's one in the center and one at the end of each of these arms. So once you find the first one, you can find the rest. Sometimes depending on the pattern of the paper, they kind of hide. But they're always going to be at the end, at the same end. And now um, you want to get your brad ready. You can use the, um, the mini silver brads work really well because they have nice long arms. But you can also use the um, designer brads. They'll work as well. I like them because they add some color. So your next step is take the paper piercing tool and insert it from the back of your pinwheel and then just take one arm at a time and walk around, give it a little squeeze and insert each arm over the point. Just like that. You give a little squeeze of each one not to give it a crease, but just to hold it in place. And when you've in put them all on there, just hold on very, very tightly, close to the hole. Remove the paper piercing tool and insert your brad through the hole. These brads are also a little wider, the, the colored ones, but they'll go through. Just push it through, flip it over. Open the prongs, and there's your first pinwheel. If you want to use cardstock, you die cut it the same way. Find the holes. But before you start putting it together, use a bone folder and soften up these arms a bit. I do it along the, the side that has the hole because that's where we're going to be folding it. And you can see as I do this, I'm actually curving it towards the hole anyway. So just make it um, easier to put together since the, the cardstock is heavy and a little stiff. Again, insert the paper piercing tool from the back and just walk it around, giving it just a little squeeze with each arm, like that. Again, just hold it close to the hole, remove the paper piercing tool, insert the brad, and open the prongs. Just like that. So again, you know, you also need probably, if you're going to make cards with this, some cute sayings like blowing wishes your way, wishing you a twirly whirly birthday, you were headed in the right direction. How cute are these? These are just perfect to use with your new pinwheels, the Wishes Your Way stamp set, which is available in the spring catalog. So these are my pinwheels. I hope that you make some too. And be sure to check out my blog, 
www.stampingwithgale.com. If you haven't done so, sign up for my mailing list and then you'll know when there's a new video. I'm Stamping with Gail. I hope that you're stamping today and we'll see you again soon.